How would it feel to have a thriving fitness business and have the freedom to enjoy life at the fullest? Well, that is exactly what the Trainer Revenue Multiplier Show is going to give you. My name is Matthew Park. This is Amy Filer. Hey, guys. And we are here to serve. Trainer Revenue Multiplier Show. As always, I'm your host, Jamie Filer, and I'm joined today by Mr. Alvin Brown, Mr. Laurent DeCary. How are you guys? We are, well, I am. I know Laurent is. I'll just speak for Laurent. We are great. We are great. I love it. I love it. Laurent, you doing well? I'm more than great. I love it. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. I knew hey, I should have right. I, I went second. I just, yeah. Oh. Dance. Don't mind if I do. All right. It's because our, our AP2A4 regulations went through, right? Oh, yes. Yes. So this is still a surprise coming up. We want to make yeah. sure everyone said, but yes. yes, with the birthday miracle. That's what I'm taking credit yes. for. It. It's a birthday miracle for I, sure. I sure hope you, you, you know, you do take credit for that. So Alvin's probably not aware of what we're talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm riding on the, I'm riding because I'm going to wait for the surprise to come out. Roll it That's out. That's it. That's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing you've not, yeah. you've not dealt with it. Either way, guys. Either way, I want to talk to you because you guys were sent to Toronto, the Holy Land, uh, yeah. to participate in the 2023 CanFit Pro Global, Global Conference. And what I love about Canada and how they do things is that from based on what I know, CanFit Pro is essentially the the ultimate in certification for personal trainers and nutritionists, whereby in the US, uh, you know, you can throw a quarter and hit so many different uh, regulatory bodies and, and organizations. But Canada essentially has one and one only, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember, you know, I can. It's so they celebrated 30 years. It's a 30 year celebration. I remember when I started personal training, there wasn't a can fit yet. So I went in, I went in over and, and picked up my ACE. Yeah. American yeah, Council yeah. On exercise. Yeah. Well, so, and then, and then it came along, but I was yeah. already jumping out of the profession into other therapies at that point. Amazing. But yeah. Amazing. So what that means is that when the one governing body for, uh, you know, health and wellness in Canada has a global conference. Everyone shows up. How big was the event, guys? It was it was a very large event considering because they took up the a, a large part of the Metro Convention Center, which is, uh, you know, if those who don't know Toronto, it's one of our biggest convention centers. Most of the most of the trade shows end up there. Yeah. And so they fill up a pretty good portion of it with a lot of people come in, amazing programs. You know, from the time we got there, downstairs, there are all kinds of programs happening. And then later on in the day, the upstairs got filled up. So it's pretty good showing. And what was the what was the energy like? What was the vibe from the time you guys arrived till the, the end of the weekend? Yeah, I'll jump in for this one. Um, the vibe was amazing. You know, everybody's out here. Well, you know, people who have their own stand for their, you know, their own, their own service and product and whatnot, you know, they're all coming in with, with um, something to share, right? They're here to share something they're passionate about, a product they love, uh, a company they own. And so it, it's just great to, you know, um, to be in that environment with where everybody wants to share, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it. It's, an, it's around fitness. Everybody that goes here loves fitness. So they get to see new technologies. They get to learn about those technologies. They get to experience, you know, um, live Zumba classes or like energetic mm -hmm. workouts. Pickleball was there as well. You know, so, so you get a great mix of education, uh, connection, right? And uh, just a whole lot of fun in general. So it's, it's hard to go in there and you know, get negative vibes. There's, there's just none literally. So it, it, it was a, it was really, really a great vibe. Um, and Alvin, you felt the same. What was your experience? Yeah. Laurent, don't forget to tell him that you got your uh, chin ups on and your uh, muscle ups. You're getting your muscle ups on and yeah, there's all kinds of stuff going on. There's wellness too. So you can get massage chairs, the latest in whatever's going on. What I love about it too is 
as a trainer or anyone in the wellness field, you'll get the latest of what's happening mm -hmm. out there. You'll, and this is where it's so essential for leaders and trainers, anyone looking to advance to be around the community so you can see where the pulse, you know, as, as Gretzky says, go where the puck's going. All right. And because you don't want to be left behind next thing you know, there's a new thing coming out or they shifted and you're still doing the, the other thing. Yeah. So it's great to lock in with the community. Then Alvin, how many people stopped to ask for a photo or an autograph? Well, Laurent kept them off. So I guess I didn't really feel the effect of it all. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. You had your bodyguard with you. Yeah, huh? yeah, he did. He did. And, and Madison, you know, just protected me. Thank you guys. Yeah. So, so Matthew brought you guys in to be the, the, uh, live version of TRM. And I believe you spoke about habits, systems, and sales over the course of about 90 minutes, right? We did. We did. Okay. So, so there was a lot of material and the presentation in it, in and of itself was very rich in terms of content. And so, um, you know, we covered sales, we covered mindset, specifically imposter syndrome, and we wanted to cover systems, but uh, we just ran out of time because, you know, oh, that no. we got in depth into the sales part. Um, you know, there was a lot of material to cover there. Alvin jumped in with the mindset and then people started interacting. They had questions. They were curious. They were excited. They, they wanted to share their own um you know, their own perspective on things. So it was a really good dynamic. Funny mm -hmm. enough, similar to a dynamic where we have a group coaching session on Zoom, but like, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, so it was just plenty of value uh, segmented with, uh, that's it, interactions from the crowd. So, and it, it was terrific. It was, it was really an honor to to be representing the team and, and be sh delivering that value. And what I think what's great, the greatest thing of the presentation was that was that it really hit home. You know, when we delivered content, people in the room soaked it up, understood, got the value, could Im implement it immediately. And to me, that's that was the greatest feeling is to know that, you know, we didn't make it about us being rock stars on stage. We really made it about the people who were there and we were of service for, to them. And they actually got some value out of it. So that was the, to me, the best part of it. So you know, my quick, only ahead, one thing missing though, Jamie, only one yeah. thing missing. There's only one thing missing that would have made it absolutely fire, lit, done, crushed. You know what it is, Laurent, what was missing? It was um some kind of turbo <laughs> action. Mm, mm, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me, let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Go ahead. Good. Say it out loud. Oh, me yeah say it yeah. out loud what was missing who was missing we were missing the trm chief mentor the mm -hmm. social media expert the head coach jamie filer the Hi. birthday girl jamie birthday girl. Mm -hmm. well i i at least would have been able to keep you on time if i yeah, <laughs> had right. nothing else yeah, to rapid not. fire exactly <laughs> Um, okay. So, I mean, I'm, I'm curious because you only have an hour and a half, you got to two out of the three topics, right? So you didn't even have enough time to cover everything. How did you decide what knowledge you're going to disseminate when number one, you're, you're strapped for time a little bit, you've got a boundary for time, but also you have no idea whether you're going to see these people ever in their lives again or not. So, you have, I mean, do you give them your best stuff? Do you give them uh, somewhat value? Is it mostly just a call to action to get them into TRM? What's the strategy? Well, here's here's the, the, the main, my main folks, and I know, again, I'm going to hijack Laurent's brain, but um, my main focus was how do we give these people, because, you know, people come to these things and they, they have you have 90 minutes to this, somehow dispel some nuggets of information before they move on to the next seminar or before they're bored and leave because it's a it's a the way it works is it's a very buffet style so you can go and pick and choose and go in and out as you please it's nothing right. no one's locked the doors you can come in come and go as you please so the main focus is how do you capture them by giving them the meat right away and 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 distill it so we went with this content 
that was in three segments and to do it any more any faster any anything different would have missed it so what while Laurent was delivering most of it and I just supported him in the back end to make sure everything was going well and we we kind of tag team together it was a great relationship what my focus was how how are they getting it so all their questions was being asked and they were at, they were engaging at a high level and we just doubled down on the the takeaways and making sure that the information we brought them was applicable so and and my mentor said something and I, and I reminded the group of this my mentor said one idea well executed can change your life in this case your business forever so I remind them that you're not here to if you if you left with 20 ideas and you're disappointed, you're not here for 20 ideas because you can't act on 20. Yeah. You want to focus on one idea. Which one will move your business? And what do a lot of people do? They go to seminars, seminar junkies, but there's no application of the information. It's like a book. What are you applying? So we had to really double down, and make sure that they realize just take one idea. Leave it the one idea, act on it consistently, and it'll change your business. So we really focus on that. By the time it got to me with the mindset, I just whittle away a lot of the content and focus on their, as Jamie, you have pointed out, I remember this. This is when I knew that I was a Filer fan, was when you mentioned that, you know, you can learn all these, learn all this information, but if you're not applying it and your self-esteem, when I was talking about mindset, I was also talking about you can't out earn your self-esteem. There's no way you're going to make a million if you feel like a thousand year. You will not be a millionaire if you feel like a thousand year, or you you just don't feel like you deserve it. So I really doubled down and that was it. We got it whittled down to the bare facts and then we're out of there. And it was great. Laurent. That was awesome, Alvin. Mm. Yeah, you know, beyond the content, I think what people appreciated most, it was really the fact that our values shine through, you know, uh, esprit de corps, uh, integrity, you know, um, people were in the audience were really feeling like we were different. Yeah. It was like, Hey, how come this is not about the salesy tactics? Oh my God. I was expecting something about, you know, a bit more cheesy and, you know, oh my God, like we were everything they were not expecting. I think quite the contrary, they really appreciated the fact that it was, a uh, it was genuine, you know, yeah. the, and you know, we're all a part of the, we have all seen the, the gold curriculum and we're a part of TRM. So, so yeah, they, they just did appreciate the fact that we were different and that we actually stand for something other than just yeah make money and um you know no they appreciated that we're, we're all about impact and that's what they got from there you know they didn't feel like they were being sold to yep. they were they felt like they were being served and so yeah we didn't get through all of the content but you know they loved it so much that we had a sheet where they could type you know put in their email for them to get the slides so afterwards we send them the slides as the first first thing you know, we did, uh, you know, following the presentation is we make sure they got the slides. Mm -hmm. I remember, you know, so, so it was really all about impact and, you know, it's so much about impact and TRM. It's, it's so much about service. You know, I was driving back from Toronto after the presentation, headed back home at like 2 AM. And then I had the sheet with mm -hmm. all the emails and I was like, I want those people to get the slides. Right. And Matthew was uh, in charge of sending them uh, so I, I had to get Matthew the emails. Yes. And I came up, came home 2 a.m. I was like, before I go to bed, let me send to Matthew the emails. Let me structure them in our database in the TRM engine. And then let's let Matthew know that the list is ready. So tomorrow morning, first thing, those people get the, 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 the email list. Uh, so, I yeah, yeah. I'm drifting off a bit here. But, yeah, I think the, the main thing about the presentation is beyond content. Yeah the values were there. Yeah. yeah. I think there's, there are several hidden messages in what you guys did in, in not just what you taught, obviously. And, you know, Alvin, take away one nugget, brilliant. Um, but how you taught it. I mean, again, one thing that we're very adamant about in TRM is make your free stuff better than their paid stuff. 
And I think that is 100% right. Like people come and they see you guys and you're giving away so much value again, even if that's that one nugget that's going to change their life. And they're like, I mean, if Alvin Brown can give away his nugget for free through TRM, why aren't I giving it? Right. So that's a me- like a, a subliminal message. And then Laurent, right? Like your speed to lead is another hidden message for them, right? Like within 12 hours of them leaving a conference, Matthew sending them an automated text or an email or a, a copy of the slides. How, how much could they use that in their own business? As soon as someone signs up for something, boom, speed to lead. They've already got what they signed up for. And then some, right? I yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And so first, I, go ahead. Oh, yeah. No, no, go ahead. I, I got a good one here. So, you know, the most I've always learned from uh, when I got, you know, when I first joined TRM, for example, was the way I experienced the onboarding or the service I got. And the experience I went through, I would always want to reenact for my own audience, right? Sure. So the better service we provide to our, our clients when they first join us, the better they're going to serve back their own audience afterwards. So, uh, yeah, leading by example is definitely right. I love that. I love that. So for those who weren't at the conference, gents, can you give me the gold nuggets? What What is the one thing you talked about that's going to uh, change someone's business if they're listening now? I would say the sticking to fundamentals, okay? I even said to our audience, listen, we're not going to tell you anything rocket science new here. But here's what we're going to tell you. You need to step back and stick to fundamentals because mm-hmm. you can come in here again. How many new ideas do you want that you're never going to apply? So what we want to do is just get you to step back, stick to the fundamentals. I remember my mentor when I sent him a whole long list of, of my problems, my updates, everything going on. And he sends me back those three words, stick to fundamentals. I was like, what the hell was that? Like, what the hell is that? I'm looking for something sexy. I'm paying you. I want something sexy. Give me something sexy here. This is, yeah. what is this? Three words? But he did a ninja thing on me. He did a mind bend. And I was like, oh, what the hell does that mean? So I had to figure it out and stick to fundamentals. So our biggest nugget was having everybody go back and listen, talk about your sales. Are you doing this, this, and this? And the beauty is, the beauty of it was that made it magical was, other people crowdsource and put in their input. And we had some brilliant stuff that was shared. Um, one guy talked about, you know, following up, delete, having someone he made, he would turn the question when they gave him an objection, he would say, okay, thank you very much. You're not ready to buy today, but what is your plan after saying no to me? What is your plan after we're finished here? What, how are you going to change things that's going on for you? And he'd leave them with that. And when they figured out that, oh, I'm saying no, but I have no other plans. Yeah. They're going, well, okay. All right. Well, I'll just stick to being tired and overweight, I guess. Right. They had no plan. So I thought that was great. So it's a great sheer. So the magic was the basic answer to your question is fundamentals. Yeah. Forget about the new sexy idea. Yep. Are you doing the simple things really, really well? And and that guy's sheer. Turn it back on your client. When they say no to you, have them introspect. Yeah. Yeah. You want to keep it. Yeah. I love it. Laurent, what was your, what was your big takeaway from your, uh, your part of the presentation? There were many ones and I kind of want to narrow it down to book, book a free VIP session because everything Alvin just said, you know, it's great. We could drop all those gems of value, but if you don't know how to implement it in your business, how, how good is it going to serve? You know, you need to introspect, right? And that's what we help you do on that free VIP session is we help you, you know, we, we do an analysis of your business. We look over your goals and we create this clear path for you to reach it. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's really the, the nugget is in the action there. So I love uh, that. Hop on on that call. We want to see you inside. Amazing. Amazing. Um, anything else you'd like to add? Anything about the trade show? Anything? I mean, would you do it again next year? What are you guys thinking? Well, I'm I'm thinking less is what, what I picked up from it 
it's 90 minutes and we had we left an extra 15 10 15 minutes at the end for some testimonials we had jamie ferrante there and also what was beautiful is we had it shows a strong community that we have at trm because ray was also in the audience and before he had to leave to go back to his booth and he took time out coming from his booth wow he had his own booth there and he took time to come and he he laid up some great support for trm so we built such a strong community that our people come back to help support and add value to us so jamie despite her being so shy and she's not the front person but she came up and she spoke from her heart and she she spoke how she went from you know struggling in her business to she's got a 40k plaque Heck yeah all right and she did it honestly and this is someone so those who, who are watching this jamie when you meet her she is an introvert complete introvert however despite being an introvert she made 40k she went from from struggling to 40k and this is someone who doesn't want to be in front of the crowd yeah so i love that i love that awesome well guys i certainly hope i get the opportunity to join you next year um but either way a pre yeah I'll, sorry laurent go ahead you bet. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that, you know, we, we want to extend gratitude to Wellness Living, who actually got us a spot at, at the event. Mm -hmm. uh, Wellness Living, which is a great app for managing your studio and your business in general. Uh, so if you need system support, definitely reach out to them. But we want to extend gratitude to them because they, they, they introduced us, you know, before the presentation and, um, yeah, we were just so grateful to be able to connect. They were like, they're a like-minded company. Yeah. So it was great to come together. So really just wanted to mention them out before we, we headed off. I appreciate and that. Thank I'm going to say, if yeah. you're going to, if you're going to go there, Laurent, let's then step it up and then talk about Deb and Fred and the owner of the owner of wellness Live is Len. So these three people are instrumental to getting us there and to sharing and having us on the stage this year. So you're right, Laurent, great move. Yeah, so much gratitude and appreciation for them. So, guys, if uh, the people listening would like to pick your brains about your respective topics or anything in general, where can you be found? You bet. Find me on Instagram, uh, mainly. Uh, Laurent.dt is my handle. So you can find me there. You'll see me do some muscle-ups. You'll see me uh, shred mm -hmm. some guitar. You'll see me drop some value nuggets as far as business and systems. So definitely find me there. Feel free to reach out. Love it. And for me, you find me at personalmasterytraining.com. Actually, personalmasterytraining.coach. But anyways, you can find me online at Personal Mastery Training on Instagram, TikTok, you name it. I'm there, Facebook, and also TRM. Every Tuesday, you'll get all three of us. Tuesday, Thursdays, if you join, you get all three of us, plus many more. We have, there's more where we came from. Hey. So come join us. Love it, guys. Thank you so much. I am at Jame91 at Trainer Revenue Multiplier. Thank you to everyone in podcast land who's been listening. If you like what you heard, make sure to rate, subscribe, share on social media. We will share back. And until next time, have the best rest of your day. Boom.